welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sailor Sketches, and today I am going to be customizing the cover of this sketchbook. You might be like, wait, what kind of sketchbook is this? How am I supposed to know? Well, I took the sticker off and put it on my pin board, and I'm going to be doing... <laughs> I'm going to be doing a review on it in a few weeks. If I don't do that, then I'm going to be doing it the next time I get this sketchbook, because I am going to get this sketchbook again. It is a little bit of a spoiler. I love this sketchbook, so I'm not going to say any more than that, but I am going to be getting this sketchbook again, so if I don't do it in the next few weeks, then I'll do it then. Notice last week, I didn't make my regular long video. I actually had like a science fair project that I kind of forgot to do the board for, and then I had to do it in like the last two days before it was due. And anyways, today I'm going to be using the supplies that the company Babycraft sent to me in this video. I made a video about the haul, and I am going to make two videos about using the supplies because that's what what they had me do these paintbrushes. I didn't say it in the video, but they are so soft. Like they are so very soft and it makes me really happy that they're really soft because I hate it when paintbrushes are like those really disgusting children's set brushes that just make you want to die inside. And they're good for some textures and stuff, but like for using them every single time you're gonna paint, no, no, don't, no, 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 gosh, no. I am going to be using the stuff they sent me. It's all right here. I'm not just using the paintbrushes. That was a note for some dog watching. So yeah, I've got everything here. I've got all the stickers and all that stuff. I'm going probably not going to use that one, but I'm going to be using all of this, even all the stickers, even all these little dudes to put on the sketchbook. I have a general idea of what I'm going to do. I don't have anything set in stone, nothing like officially like I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and then it'll be done. I'm gonna be uh, using all of this to paint on the cover. I'm going to be using some inspiration from these pictures. I'll put them up on the screen. I use Pinterest a lot, I know. For my videos, I wanna give you guys the best stuff that I can, so I try to use a lot of references to be able to improve and give you what you guys want. So, yeah. I've been swallowing long enough. I'm just really worried about painting. <sighs> I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna figure something out, and we're gonna do this. Let's just go. All right, now we're gonna start painting. <laughs> For some reason, my big smart brain, um, heavily, heavily, heavily being sarcastic, decided that it was a great idea to film this the same way that I film my shorts videos, which is, um, vertically last time I checked, and my videos are horizontal, so everything is sideways, so I hope that doesn't really bother you guys that much. It does bother me a whole bunch, which is just great, but, <laughs> again, sarcasm, but, yeah, it, it's all sideways, and I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I was like, oh, this is going to be really fun to do. And I just, I also didn't end up having enough time for, like, making it, like, past 10 minutes for this video. So I'm counting on the outro, because I haven't filmed it yet, to get us past 10 minutes, because I absolutely despise any videos that are under... 10 minutes of mine. I really do like other people's videos. I don't know how you guys can fit so much information in under 10 minutes. Like, you really be good at that. Like, I can't, I can't even, like, make a video that's 10 minutes long without being super, super dis dissatisfied with it. But anyways, let's get on talking about with, like, what I'm actually painting. I'm actually painting Mina, and I actually painted Mina in a video before, and I think I'm gonna mention that in the outro. Again, haven't filmed it yet, but I'm thinking about mentioning that, like, to see how much I've improved. Um... I don't think I've ever, like, drawn any other My Hair Academia characters on this channel. I don't know why I've been drawing Mina on this channel, but I have. So, she's just a thing for me now, I guess. I mean, I always say things are a thing for me. Like, the wings, I just because I got them, like, three times drawing wings. I mean, it, I guess three times is a lot, but, you know, still still you know what I'm, you know what I mean and I'm just going in with her horns oh, the skin it took the longest I'm actually really surprised I was able to finish this in the time that I did I actually finished it in one day and um that's really surprising like usually when I'm painting stuff it takes me so long just to finish like one section it's not just because like painting it itself takes so long it's like waiting for everything to dry and waiting for the patience and the motivation to actually start that's like 
the b biggest and worst thing about painting for me is like, do I really want to do this? Not really, but do I have to do this? Yes, I do. So that really sucks. But yeah, and we could just go into the shading with the hair. Her hair is a little bit more of a peachy color than her skin, which is a bubblegum color. So I hope you can tell like some sort of difference between it. I mean, the camera really doesn't pick up well at all the colors in real life. Like in my Ash Ketchum video um, where I painted on glass, people were like, I thought that you had completely destroyed the entire painting. Oh my gosh, why are you being so dramatic? Um, I genuinely thought I destroyed my painting because my the like the sharpie had disappeared on the other side of the painting i couldn't see it it looked like it smudged and it, the picture the picture wow well, the camera does not really pick up actually what happened to it so i wasn't trying to be over dramatic it for me was not the best that i could have made and i'm really sorry about that some people were like oh my gosh you're being so over dramatic but just clarifying that i just I was not trying to be over dramatic at all. I'm going around doing the outlines, outlining the edges. I got the inspiration to make it like a song playlist kind of thing from that one post that I showed you before. It'll be up on the screen. Um, I just thought it was a cool layout. I thought it was fun. I saw it one day on Pinterest and I was like, I want to do that and no one's going to stop me. And the song that I used was Hero 2, which was actually a song that was in the show. Um, it was in the festival episode. So it's like near to the end, so if you haven't seen the show, I'm not really going to say anything about it, but that song is in that episode, just saying that, and yeah, I really do like the way that this came out. Again, with the thing about not having enough time to be able to like make this over 10 minutes, I like my videos to be around 18 minutes long, and I know that seems like really, really long for some people, but I enjoy long videos so much just to the point that if I don't make one that's over 15 minutes, my, my I'm just like, wow, this sucks, and I'm not even gonna like even try and post this, and I try to like put other things, make the videos longer. It's just, I I don't know why my videos always just, for me, have to be long, unless it's like a shorts video, like duh, it's a shorts video, it's supposed to be short, but like, I'm just more satisfied with my th with my videos when they're longer. I'm pretty sure it's because of Drawing with Waffles. She's always been like a huge artist inspiration of mine, and like she her videos are like 30 minutes long. And I was like, oh, people aren't gonna want to stick around for my 30 if I made 30 minute long videos because well, I'm not really as interesting as her, and I don't have a quite a big as following as her at all in any way, shape, or form. Not even close. Like it's like one in a bajillion. <laughs> wow, math. But yeah. I'm outlining her hair right now. Her hair, I really like Mina's hair, okay? It's really fun to draw. It's like, it's it's long, but it's short. It's like long for being short hair and short for being long hair and it's pink and it matches her skin kind of, but it's a little bit more of a peachy tone. And I just love this character so much. I am all done with this, completely, 100% finished. I am so excited, okay? I really like this, and I did this in one day, and painting usually takes me like forever, and when I mean forever, I mean like an uh, whole entire week, especially painting people. Not like I do anything else, I mean, I, I literally only paint people. The holes that I'm putting my thumbs through are holes that I've ripped through or cut through, not holes that are naturally there. Why am I even talking about this? No one was probably even gonna notice, and now they're noticed, and now I'm sad. Great. I finished it! I really like it, and I hope you guys like it too. Next week I'm going to be using these products again and I love these products. I did not get the chance or why I was not able to, however you want to say it. I was not able to use these. I didn't know where to put them. Like where am I supposed to put them? I, I had no idea what I was supposed to do with them because I am not a crafty person at all. Say two things. First things first. I am going to be doing watercolor next week. I'm gonna be dead. I hate watercolor. I, I am so bad at doing watercolor, it's just sad. The only thing that's waiting for me next week is pain and misery. So I hope you guys will join me for that. So make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be able to see me suffer. I needed to mention, probably shouldn't put that on there, but I did this two, two months ago. I, I don't remember when. I, I I don't have brain. No. No brain today. Did I get better? I can't justify that myself. I liked it better. I think I did the hands better. But yeah, I really do like this one a lot. A lot better than this. 
I'm in love with this, and I'm so glad that it's on the cover of my sketchbook. Oh, well, that's a spoiler. Actually, no, it's on my Instagram. Go follow me on my Instagram if you haven't already. This is my first page. <laughs> Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to all so you're notified every single time I make a new art video, especially for next week because I'm drawing watercolors and <laughs> I, I don't like them. I, uh, I hate them. As a matter of fact, I, I hate them and I hope they die. Not, not trying to be like offensive to anyone who loves watercolors. They just don't like me at all. And it's sad. I just have a few updates that I need to make about my Draw This In Your Style challenge. What did I just do with my hands? I don't even know. I thought you guys were gonna be a little bit smarter with this, not trying to say anyone's dumb, but I have caught like five people, five people trying to enter my contest, my draw this in your style, whatever you wanna call it, with traced artworks. And you might be like, how can you tell if it's traced? Well, two of them were videos. Two of them were videos and they literally traced my art like in front of the camera, like nothing had happened. Like, excuse me, it's a draw this in your style, not trace it. No, 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 draw this in your style, thank you very much. Your, and you can't say, no, my style is tracing. No, your style is your individualisticness of your art. You need to do it yourself. Draw this in your style. That is the meaning of it. I just then, I, I thought I didn't have to mention that, but apparently I do. Do not trace. That is basically the only rule besides being kind to everyone else. There's also the thing of not tracing mine and not tracing anyone else's. Just don't trace. It's a bad, bad thing to do in an art contest, an art community. We are trying to be here for each other and it really sucks when someone just steals. It's, it's, it's thievery. If you're doing it to enter a contest, you cannot not trace. The only reason, the only plausible reason I should say for tracing I would give an excuse for would be if you are a very, very, very beginner artist, doing it for yourself to get a better understanding of anatomy and how it works, and keeping it to yourself. Not being like, oh, look at this, I drew this all on my own, look what I've done, oh, it's so beautiful. No, no. Oh my gosh, I hate hate it when people do this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the updates. This is how the sketchbook turned out. And remember to turn your notification bell on so you'll see me next week when I struggle <sighs> with watercolors. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week, Sunday, 3 p.m. Central Time, US and Canada. See you guys next week. I need to go just chill out for like five minutes.